guys, how y'all doing? So today I am doing a tag video. I was tagged by Gina at Gina Pearson and I was also tagged by D at D Lovely Life. Uh, it's a 15 question tag. They're pretty hard questions. <laughs> Let's see if I could answer them for you. And I'm gonna do that while I'm taking a walk. Hopefully you guys will be able to hear me. <laughs> it's really windy today. So the first question is what matters to you most? Okay, what matters to me most? Family, for sure. Obviously my husband and my son first, but my sister, my nieces, all my grand nieces and grand nephews and nephews and nieces and Yes, all of them, and my brother, and yeah, all the, and my mom, and my dad, everything, all those are very important to me. And my extended family, which most of them um, live in Connecticut. I have some that live in Colorado. Um, they are all really very important for me. I grew up with a huge family. I'm used to having a huge family. I have over 30 cousins, still to stay in touch with a bunch of them mostly through Facebook, but I have had some come visit. And so it's just really important. I don't know what I would do without my family, especially my husband, my son, and my sister. And especially since my son, this is a long answer, is in San Francisco, it's really nice to be close to my nieces and you know, her grandkids, my pseudo, or her kids, my pseudo grandkids, because I don't have any things, have any grandkids. So it's really nice to have that. Okay, number two, what is your happiest memory? Well, I have a lot of them, but I'll have to say it was the day my son was born. And yeah, sorry, honey. <laughs> I mean, obviously the day I got married, but you know, the two of them go together because if it wasn't for my husband, I wouldn't have had my son. And so, yeah, that was a very amazing day for sure. My happiest, yes. Add a little something to that. <laughs> I was watching Gina and she's definitely telling some stories with her. So it wasn't just the day my son was born. It was that whole experience. When I was, when I had my son, we lived in Georgia. Hubby and I lived in Fort Benning. He was stationed there um, in the army. And um, so I had no family around. So the very next day, my mom got on the flight and came out and spent a week with me. And that was awesome. So that was the whole thing. And then <laughs> a week after that, my sister came and stayed with me with her son who was like four years old at the time and came and stayed with me for a week and on the way back, so not on the way back, but my parents had gone and um, dropped her off because they were on going on a vacation. So on their way back, they picked her up and took her home with them. So my dad got to see the baby. Somebody helping me for two full weeks in my house, not just coming over and bringing me food, you know, the whole day. Mom cooked, my sister cooked. It was awesome. Three things that put a smile on your face. Well, I'm gonna kind of cheat a little bit here because it's really six things. So that would be Abby and Michaela. They go together. Alexander and Alyssa, they go together. And the new babies, Joshua and Jonas. So those are the three things that really put a smile on my face. And I miss them. I'm about to cry here. I miss them. Yeah. Hopefully this will be all over soon and <laughs> The girls can come over for a sleepover and I can watch the kiddos for her because I'm sure mommy needs a break right about now. Hi. <laughs> Next question is, who is or are the most important people to you? Uh, I already answered that question in question one, which makes me think like answer question one wrong, which was what is the most important thing to you? Was it thing? Anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll answer that so I can 
answer it differently. So if I had to redo question one, that would be my mental health, <laughs> which is why I'm out here walking because that is the worst thing to be depressed. And so it is very important for me to keep my mental health health in check. And that's why I'm walking. And that's why I'm trying to encourage you to walk, trying to get some sunshine, take my supplements, take my thyroid pills, eat healthy, and that all helps mental health. It's no fun to have brain fog and to feel depressed. And I'm very thankful to not be in that state I was last year while this thing is happening because that would have just kind of put me over the edge. So I'm thankful for that as we look at the playground. Question why I sit here and drink my water. And let's see, the next question is what do I what is one the most thing what Alright, the question is what is the one thing that you like most about yourself? Okay, that's a pretty hard question. Hmm. I guess well, that's hard. I guess I would have to say my ability to get knocked down and get back up again. <laughs> Yes, and the last couple of times I got knocked down, I knew I could get back up again. And that was like the only thing that was helping me is I knew I would get back up again eventually. So I get knocked down seven times and I get back up seven times. So kudos to me. I mean, in the moment, it's really hard when I'm like that. But I know there's always light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> The Tux wanted to talk to you. <laughs> okay, next question. What are your deepest fears? You know, I don't really want to go there. <laughs> I don't like this question. I don't. Hmm. I guess my answer would be losing another person. I lost my sister almost three years ago. She had cancer. And so my deepest fear is to lose my other sister. I mean, obviously to lose my husband too, but and that would be number one and being alone, but uh, to lose another sister, yeah, and to lose a husband, to lose anybody, <laughs> I, I don't, I don't want to do that again, but I know it'll happen, so I don't know, those are my fears, being alone, losing people, I don't want to say I'm okay with, um, I don't know, I've said this before in a video, and some of you may be thinking, what about your parents? Well, I'm okay with that. I've made peace with that. You know, if they had, if they pass, I'm okay with that. I think, especially for my mom, it's time. She is in the end stages of Alzheimer's, and honestly, I think she's just suffering right now. So... I'm, I will be okay with that. She just needs to go be with Jesus and go be with my sister. Who is the most important thing in your life? I already kind of covered that already, but... My husband. <laughs> my husband. My husband. Obviously, my husband is the most important thing. I don't know what I would do without him, for sure. He's my rock. Yeah. Love that man. Okay, next question. If you can hear me. Ooh, it's windy. So, who or what inspires you the most to never give up? Is it terrible to say myself <laughs> okay um it depends on the day you know sometimes it's my husband sometimes it's my sister sometimes it's people on youtube that inspire me not to give up sometimes it's the littles because i want to be here forever for to see the littles grow up and get married and my son to maybe get married and have grandkids one day i mean uh I don't know. It's a lot of things. It's not just one thing or one 
person. So it depends what you're talking about giving up on. Some people might be talking about weight loss. I'm talking about life in general. Because that's my life right now, or has been in the past, my mental health. Question, I don't know what number question it is, but it is another day. I think it's actually two days later when I did the first part of this video. So I'm out walking again. And the next question is, who or what do you believe in? I think that's believe the question. In. I imagine most people would say Jesus. Um, yeah, <laughs> I struggle with my faith. So I don't know really how to answer that question. I want that to be the answer, but I kind of struggle with my faith. Yeah, I don't know where to, what else to say about that. I just struggle with it and it should be number one, but it's not. <laughs> uh, yeah, these are really not. tough questions and I'm not even sure why I'm even doing this video. So the next question is, if you were to die tomorrow, what would be your biggest regret? Hmm. Um, not losing weight when I was younger because it's freaking hard now. Now, guarantee it's even harder for me now because I don't have a thyroid. Thyroid regulates your metabolism. And so, <laughs> I do take medicine for that, but it's just extremely difficult and having Hashimoto's is difficult too. So, um, I regret not working harder to try to lose weight when I was younger. I probably could have done it, and I have done. I have lost 30 pounds and then gained it back. Lost another 30 pounds and gained it back. Yeah, and then some, and yeah. <laughs> so I started gaining weight when I was in my 20s, when I started taking the pill. Yeah. Anyway, that's a whole nother story. So I didn't take it for very long, stopped that, and but then my weight just perpetuated after that. Um, never had a problem with my weight before that. <sighs> so I regret, I mean, I've tried. Like I said in a previous question, I fall down and get back up again. I, ha I keep trying. <sighs> I keep trying, it's just taking too long. And I need to do something about it now. I need to do something about it years ago. I don't know. Such okay, next life. question is referring to the previous question. So what are you going to do now so that doesn't happen? Well, I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm walking. Yes, and I'm, I'm slow at this, but <laughs> I keep trying. And you know, bouts of depression doesn't help. Anyway, so I am always tweaking my diet to eat healthier. I do eat less these days. I think that's what happens when you get older though. So that's not really helping <laughs> by eating less because your metabolism slows down. I don't know how that would work with me exactly since I have a fake metabolism. I don't know. I really don't know how that works totally because the thyroid medicine creates my metabolism. I don't know. I'm sure there's other things that Create your metabolism as and just thought right. I'm not really sure. Anyway, so <laughs> I am always tweaking my diet. I started juicing again, which I have done that in the past. I just haven't been consistent. Um, I heard Gina say this in her video. She is consistently inconsistent. I think she said that. You've heard me say that before, yeah. If I could just be consistent. <laughs> yeah. Just who I am. I'm trying to. So just trying to drink more water, change my diet, baby steps, but that's just what works for me, even though I need to step it up. I'm doing the best I can. I'm trying to eat healthy, I'm trying to exercise, all that kind of stuff. It's all the best I can I do. I guess the answer to that question is keep trying. When I fall down, get back up again. And that's what I'm doing. Okay, next question. How can I make my life more meaningful starting today? Okay. okay I'm good at these kinds of questions. Cool house, though. <laughs> what are they doing all that dirt? Anyway, um, I've never been down this road before. 
So, uh, can I make, make my life more meaningless to start today? Well, I don't know. I feel that's it's kind of hard right now. <laughs> I'm doing the best I can and spending more time with hubby. So that's nice going for walks and stuff and more meaningful. I don't know. I don't know the answer to that question. Just spending time for myself pretty selfish but I can't spend I would say spend time with others but I can't really do that right now can I you know the original person of this um tag is from Sandy at the let's get uh, fit with Sandy something like that I'll put it on the screen and so you know what Sandy I don't like these questions <laughs> all right so she originally tagged Gina and then Gina tagged me and D and then D tagged me anyway moving okay, on so the Next question is, how can you change someone's life for the better? First, I want to say, I don't really like these questions that make me sound boastful. <laughs> I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Anyway, I guess I would say by encouraging them to do things like walking. And I'm doing that on my YouTube channel and on Instagram. And I'm not all that, people. <laughs> I didn't start out doing that. I started doing out trying to encourage myself when I started my YouTube channel five years ago. It was for me. And I didn't realize I was going to be encouraging other people. I don't know. I was doing it just for something to do, a hobby to get my mind off of other things and to stay busy. And lo and behold, apparently I'm encouraging other people. And I have a lot of people that follow me that have Hashimoto's or another autoimmune disease, and I get lots of messages from y'all saying I'm encouraging you, but guess what? You guys are encouraging me by commenting and encouraging me to keep going, and yeah. So, um, I don't know what to say about that. I love my subbies. Thanks, guys. Last question. What are you going to do differently after finishing this tag? I'm already doing it. <laughs> I'm walking <laughs> and oh Sand Hill Cranes I didn't get a close up look I'm going to challenge myself more which I I do but I don't do that when I'm depressed because I can't I don't know I try but the best I can do is when I'm feeling good and I'm so blessed to be feeling good before this thing happened otherwise I'd be in a worse state for sure so I'm happy about that and I'm turning around going back to the trail so to challenge myself like yesterday when I walked I went up the hill at the park four times so that was a challenge and you know I like to do challenges on YouTube to do cleaning challenges and stuff I, mean, I don't know some people might not think that's a challenge but I'm gonna keep challenging myself when, at least when I'm feeling good, I'm hoping to stay in this place and um, yeah, to try to do the best I can to stay in this place and not go back down that, I want to say rabbit hole, but it's not really a rabbit hole, is it now? I don't know, it's a hole. <laughs> so I got to take care of myself, um, do all the things, eat good, walk, exercise, do the best I can. Hopefully I didn't miss any questions. And, all right, who am I going to tag? Karen at This Mainer's Mom. You're tag, Karen. Okay, and, and I'm going to tag Rhonda at Spanky Cola. Now, she has not done a video in a really long time, so if you're watching Rhonda, I'm not sure if you'll do this tag, but I hope so, because I know people in the comments below put down that you would like to see a video from Rhonda. I know some of you had said that. We'd like to see a return of Rhonda. So I actually got a message from her a couple weeks ago. She's doing pretty good. She's doing better. So um, hopefully she'll come back to YouTube. Rhonda, I tag you. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I'm going to finish my walk and um, enjoy your day.